We now return to Let's Play Torchlight 2. Here we go. Okay, so... Before the final area, they give you a very unnecessary second camp right on the other side of the um, portal there. Um, I think we're pretty good, actually. I don't think I need anything else from you. The Guardian of Mana. Let's talk to you. So as you can see, I don't even really have a quest for this. It's just something I have to do. Um, switch to aggressive. Okay. Can I move that anywhere else? Oh, it's gonna get in the way no matter what. But if we're gonna run through here, I'm gonna need it. Run, run, run! I don't think there's anything like a puzzle or anything like that that I need to uh, activate to get through here. Oh, oh boy! Something tells me though. Aha! Stairway down. Lift down. Do I have another thing for you? I do. Okay. Where to this time? Ah, yes, I was going to, wrong way. I was going to turn that off, actually. The uh, auto attack of my pet. I think this is the wrong way. Because now my pet is gone off somewhere fighting danger. Oh, here we are again. This is going rather quickly. Okay, put you on the defensive this time. Well, I got lucky last time. This time I'm not so sure the layout is going to be easy to navigate. Might be a little convoluted here. Uh, not that way. So long as we can just keep jumping through those guys like that, we should be fine. This is not the right way. I don't think this is the right way either. Maybe it is. Oh, yeah, there's the door. I see it. Let's pick up this chest. Why? I mean, there's not really any benefit to getting anything at this point. I seem to have lost my pet. That's okay. We're here. Oh, 
Okay. But is it going to be enough? I saw the little thing there. Oh, right. I think I remember this. We have to travel around to unlock the new stuff. Which, uh, in turn, activates and angers these guardians. But that's okay, we can leave them behind. Oh. Oh, that's only part of it. Stop teleporting. Oh, god damn it. All right. Let's run by those guys before they activate. Is there something up here? Doesn't appear to be. Uh, valve. hitting that guy. Or the, uh... The wolf, rather. Do not mean to keep summoning the wolf. Uh, was that it? It was. Okay. Well, shoot. Because I accidentally hit that, he's not going to be available. Well, let's do it. Your fame. As in Here he is. So I know I've been skipping through this rather quickly, so I might have skipped a bit of the story. Uh, people just don't like to read, so I'm not doing it, or if you can't hear the voice, I didn't pick up on it. But um, anyway, the alchemist from the first game, who was one of the three heroes that you could play in Torchlight 1, uh, has been messing around with Ordrak's heart, Ordrak being the main bad guy of the last game. And he has suffered from corruption, clearly, and become the Dark Alchemist. Now, what he has been trying to do is uh, use Ordrak's heart, which he has in that staff right there. Oh, this is no good. Yeah, stop using that on me. And, uh, He has been trying to... Well, it's kind of... It's actually kind of convoluted in the, the whole story here. Because, on the one hand, everyone says that he is trying to basically destroy everything by sort of opening a way into the... the, uh... this, the Netherim realm. And, um... But if you actually go through the dungeon where he is actually... Well, it's his workshop, I guess. If you actually go through that dungeon and read his journals, he actually seems to be attempting to find a way to destroy Mordrak for good, as well as any Netherim uh, that would come through. But I guess in his corruption, he sort of decides that the only way he could get enough energy and power to do this is to take the life essences of the Guardians. Oh, I 
wish you would stop using that. I can't get out of it. Goodies. Let's get off one of these flames. There's the chest. And I guess we have to keep going down because that is not the end. So, I have one last chance here to go back. Oh, Ember Mage, of course it would be. And Outlander, damn it. So nothing good for me. That's disappointing. Actually, I've noticed that at the end of the game, there's a lot of Ember Mage gear. Like, really good gear. So if you haven't played this yourself yet, you might want to consider that class. Um, I think we'll just run on to the end. I don't think I need to go through. Basically, we are aiming to finish what he started. Only in a less destructive way. And we have to run through all this nonsense again, this time through the horrors of uh, wherever the hell these guys come from. are usually a good sign that we're going the right way. Uh, we're not. Every time I say something... Here we go. Down, down, down. Oh, I should probably spend that point. Okay. Oh, let's put it in here. Okay, and you appear to be done with your fish. That's the last one I have. Okay. Let me through, let me through. Oh, God. Just run right by that. Okay, this looks exactly like what we just came out of. So, if I can bother to remember the direction... Which I don't think was this way, and that guy is fast. That is not the right way either. gone up. Now or not, that appears to be... I appear to have circled around. So, wrong way completely. You know, 
I wonder what it would be like in reality for some venturous hero to go running through that mass of horrors. Just, you know, constantly running from everything that's trying to kill him. Okay, here we are. Um, oh, not yet. I have to go through that portal. Okay, let's do it. Level 48. Now, well, we'll see. Where are you? There he is. Boom! And level 8. Level 8, what am I talking about? Number 8. And I probably should have waited just a little bit. Because they're gonna die before they can do anything useful. Wow, look how fast we're taking him down. I think he's got multiple stages though. Yeah. Yeah, that would be that would be another stage of his. Okay. Well, I got some cool stuff. A wallop grinder. A unique claw. Wow. Let's just see what it looks like. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. I think that's actually better, though. I don't know. I'll look through that later. So, he's dead. We now put the heart into the clockwork core and seal the nether area. I don't really know what it's called. Is it called the nether? Because their, their nether rim is the race, anyway. Uh, up to this point, the cutscenes have not recorded so well. Uh, I don't think this is going to be any different, but we'll see. Yeah, that totally didn't work. Basically, it just summarized sort of what I'd already said, where uh, the alchemist had done things and we came and made everything better. So back to the surface. The game is not technically over right now. I mean, the story's over, but there are a few things that we can do. Now we're back at the minehead. Let's go talk to what's her face. Okay, I've got that already. Killian's boots. Feral armor, amazing. I just got the wallop grinder and a feral helm. Ah, that looks awesome. But this would be much better than what I've already got. Except that it lowers my vitality by 24 if I change that out. What would this do? Give me a lot of stuff. If I had a piece, if I had a set. Well, that's okay. Well, this will make up for the vitality in the plus 479 health. But the loss of 24 vitality might make a lot of my other armor. I disappear. I am the local hero. Let's see what that looks like. I can't wear it. Damn. Okay, so yeah. At this point, if you had collected the various 
parts of the robot. And I've only got, what, like two? Let's have a look here. I've got three. There are five, I think. I mean, anyway, when you do that, um, back in the the other camp, on the other side of the portal here, uh, the engineer there assembles a robot, which gives you another quest. But if you want anything else beyond that, you come talk to these two. So, she will allow me basically to start over with a new character, but I think with all my skills intact. That's how that works. And then you've got the mapper here, who activates the map works. And the map works is basically just a bunch of dungeons you can go through. Uh, really, that's all it is. Like, one guy sells you maps. There's a bunch of other stuff here, like, uh, you know, item sellers and all this stuff. But this guy, the map seller, sells you a bunch of maps for dungeons. And you can go through them. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. One really cool thing, though, is that this acts as a hub. So now when we go back to the portal, I can go anywhere. I'm going to go back to the, uh, how about the Asterian Enclave? That's a nice happy place. So, uh, yeah, that is effectively the end of Torchlight 2. And, uh, <laughs> kind of a speed run of Torchlight 2. Yeah. Nothing else to do, really. Um, I guess, I mean, if you actually sit and do all the content, if you go kill everything on the map, it significantly extends the game. But if you just run through it like I did, well, you won't get very far. Because, obviously, I got to a point where I was just underleveled and could not really do anything, and it was really bad. So, you're kind of forced, actually, to uh, to do it. But, I, from what I recall of the first Torchlight, it was basically just going down dungeons and dungeons, and you... or floors of the same dungeon, rather. And, you know, it was just a random floor was, like, the final boss, but you could keep going. So having a little bit of a story, I guess, was kind of nice. Having different areas and regions was a nice change. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much Torchlight. Pretty much the same game. But uh, I think everyone knew that, you know, if you like the first Torchlight, you'll like this game. And I imagine it's a lot more fun playing with other people at least for a while. The, the, the thing about not having a randomly generated everything, I mean, y you know with a story where you're going next, basically. So, it's very linear in that sense, but I guess the first Torchlight wasn't really hugely open world anyway. I don't know. It's, it's Torchlight. And, uh, you know, these kinds of games, eh, they're fun for a while, but uh, I'm glad to be done. And uh, I'm glad that you guys stuck around to watch, those of you that did. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to end this here, and I will see you next Let's Play.